Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your Valentine themed love reading. General advice as always. So please keep that in mind throughout this reading and take from it as always what makes sense for you and release the rest. So these are the decks that I'll be using this time around the Arrows of Love Oracle by Mystic Moon, the Lover's Oracle and my fairy tale is real chapter one and I'll I will of course link everything down below that you see here today. All right, so let's begin Virgo. Let's see what that energy looks like when it comes to Valentine's day that energy surrounding you and a connection all right so let's take a look and see what is your opening message and just a bit of a fun fact my husband and i actually got married on valentine's day 1996 so we will be celebrating 26 years married and 28 years together I think about that time and it's like, whoa, has it really been that many years? But yeah, <laughs> it has. And he's a he's an amazing spouse and very good person and I'm just blessed. So let's take a look and see what needs to come in for you. Beautiful messages. Roses are red. True love. All right. Maybe you have already found your true love love cords they are definitely feeling very connected to you and for those of you who happen to be at a distance from one another these cords these ties that keep you guys bound to each other not in a negative way at all you know because it's coming through as true love they feel very connected to you spiritually in their heart space they think about you often so let's see what else here see what else round and round all right so maybe someone's giving you the runaround when it comes to this partnership maybe they can't make up their mind what it is that they are wanting even though it is coming through as true love for those of you in separation that could be part of the reason for the separation because they couldn't make up their mind and even though you are at a distance from one another they still feel very connected to you all right let's see what else We have enamored love potion okay that's a part of their energy that they're very enamored by you they still think about you even though they might not be with you and the distance might have finally woken them up as well realizing that this really is the real deal all right we've got two cards i was just going to grab one but two wanted to come through so let me move these guys over. So we do have that caged heart. This person, I'm getting a couple things that they might have experienced heartbreak before you guys even met. And maybe they didn't take the time to heal from that. And so here they are with this caged heart. They might have entered into the partnership with that type of energy, which might explain why they couldn't make up their mind one way or the other, or they couldn't commit to the partnership because they were so... What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe they just had their walls up and couldn't come to a solid decision as to what it was or is that they want. This could also represent your own energy, Virgo, especially if somebody has hurt you in the past and maybe right now you're just really guarded. And then this card wanted to come through. Wings of love, guidance, and protection. Maybe your angel guides have been protecting you and watching out for you this whole time. Just making sure that the journey, the path that you are on will lead you towards either the right kind of love or will lead the two of you back together if you are in separation. So let's clarify that with some tarot here. I'll be pulling from my Illuminated Star Tarot, Volume 2. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo. All right, let's see. So you've been through a bit of a rough patch here, Virgo, but somebody really loves you here. Look at that, Two of Cups, followed by the Lovers. You could also be thinking of a Gemini here. We've got the Ace of Wands. Okay, so even though somebody might have given you the runaround before, they're wanting a new beginning. They're wanting another chance to reconnect with you. They see you as this 
life partner, their divine counterpart, you know, they feel this deep, intense connection and love towards you. And both of these cards represents partnership. Part of the reason too why your heart is coming through with this damaged caged heart energy could have been that they hurt you. They had a lover, you know, there could have been infidelities and trust issues here, and they want to do things differently, I feel, through this new beginning. There's still the opportunity for things to grow and to change between the two of you. The chemistry, the intense physical connection too, that's coming through. Let's see what else. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is Earth energy right here, Virgo. That could be where you're at. Just self-sufficient, kind of working on your own, own thing right now. You could be single, but also very successful. Nine of Pentacles. You're just focusing perhaps on your career, your life purpose, finally reaping the rewards of all of that hard work that you put on yourself. Look at this, how this is lining up. Five of Wands right next to Caged Heart, damaged. You guys had some disagreements here, and there could have been love rivals here. There could have been infidelities, trust issues, third-party situations. Sure, I can't speak. Third-party situations, which the Lover's card can sometimes be an indication of. And then the Five of Wands, rivalry and love. So they ended up hurting you, possibly, because they could have been talking to other people. And again, there could have been infidelities and trust issues through um, love triangles or third parties because there's competition here. Someone else was vying for your person's attention. You could have been dealing with a player through that Knight of Wands. This is sometimes somebody who enjoys those passionate adventures in love and romance, but they're not really sticking around because they perhaps want to explore their options that could be where that round and round energy is coming through. But there really has been a shift here, Virgo, because as you can see through this Nine of Cups, they are focused on wanting to manifest this wish when it comes to being with you. It is because of you that perhaps they still feel so enamored. There's something very special about the times and the love that you guys have shared. And look at this, you've got the energy of the sun. So this can culminate in a very positive outcome between the two of you still, despite the history, despite the pain, despite some of the drawbacks that you have experienced when it comes to this person. I feel maybe they've matured, they've grown, maybe they have really worked on themselves. They're a different person because this represents joy right here. So whatever this energy represents and however way you got hurt, or even how they got hurt, it does seem here that things can turn around and it represents such a beautiful energy of celebration, of success in the partnership that you guys still have the opportunity to find happiness. And so pulling from the lover's oracle here, let's see what the messages are for you, Virgo. We do have time here and it does say you are trying to hard give a time. That could apply to either of you. So this is a situation perhaps that yes, it can work out and you guys can find happiness again, but it comes down to divine timing. It comes down to the universe's time frame to make this happen. So try to not lose sight of that and to just be impatient. This could also be the person that you're thinking about. You know, they want to make it happen right away or they want to be able to fix this, but it takes time. We also have the soulmate card coming through here. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. They see you as that soulmate. They feel very connected to you as we already see through the love cords card right there, as well as the two of cups, the lovers, ace of wands, all pretty positive there. Okay, so let's grab a card or two from... My fairy tale is real. To wrap up your reading here. Okay. We have destiny is stronger than doubt. So whatever doubts you yourself might have had, Virgo, 
it does seem here that maybe this is coming through. There's still a part of your destiny. There's the opportunity for you guys to find your way back into each other's hearts, into each other's lives. Okay, let's grab one more card. One more card for Virgo. We breathe together. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful card. So you guys just get each other. You you really are very compatible, it seems. Yes, you've had some rough patches along the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, just based off of what's here, I feel a part of your destiny is to find happiness with this person once again. And your angel guides are certainly watching out for you and protecting you during this time to ensure that this can happen when it's meant to. All right, Virgo, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. I hope you enjoyed the messages here. If you resonated with it, if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.